What's good, ladies and gents? So we are back on some Datsun 510 <sighs> installs today. Now, it's been a good couple of weeks since I picked up the camera, so let me just explain some stuff and what we're gonna to install today. We're gonna to install a bunch of mad dat items. So I've got front coilover struts, racing coilover struts basically for the Datsun 510 with camber plates. We're gonna install them because I needed them because if you remember to install, last video was just, well, the last last one was just this epic long mission. 30, I condensed that down from like an hour plus of footage. So it was like 35 minutes of footage that you got uh, so I need the coilovers because the Technotoid tuning brake calipers won't fit on whatever struts I've got. Now if I install them, that should be all good. And then when Troy Ermish sends the billet aluminium hubs that I've ordered, because they're like a few weeks away now still, which is a bit annoying, but they're on order. They're being heat treated and made. They're literally made to order. When they arrive, it should actually just be a case of bolt everything up on the front end and it work. So we're gonna install the coilovers today just so that's ready to go and situated. Won't mess around with the camber yet because I've got different wheels, which you would have saw in the last video to go on the front. And I just need to see the fitment and see whether I want some camber on the front or not. What we are gonna install as well today there's a common problem with the Datsun 510, which is you go around a corner and because basically the fuel filler and the fuel tank and the neck are all one horizontal piece. It just pisses fuel out the side of the car. I'm not making this up. Good times, Datsun. So, what I've got as well is a mad Dat fuel filler neck, basically. So we're going to install that as well. As well as, it's quite a big, robust install today. We're going to install a new trunk gasket boot gasket so there's like a weather strip that goes on the uh the trunk i'm going to install that as well i've been holding off on some of these things because i wanted to do the fronts the coilovers when troy omish sent the hubs he hasn't sent them yet but i want to just get that ready and i've also got to explain a whole bunch of other stuff which has happened off camera so let's go and show you the datsun and uh i've got some explaining to do <laughs> yes mate yes 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 so, some explaining to do. Oh, yes, there's no hubs. There's no hubs, there's nothing. What's going on here, right? <laughs> let me explain. Literally the whole car is completely off the ground. Uh, so let me explain what's been going on here. I, <laughs> um, I took it upon myself to try to upgrade the, uh, the rear brakes, didn't I? And uh, and then I realized that actually, um, it's not a Datsun rear end. I don't think anyway. Don't think that is a Datsun differential in there. Pretty certain it's not. Although it does mate up to the transmission, which I figured out what that is. Uh, it is the highly coveted 63A dogleg five speed. But uh, if anyone knows what that transmission is, if you can see that, what transmission, what uh, diff that is, let me know because I have no idea. But basically what happened was I took all this off and uh, realized that the hub was the wrong PCD and it had an adapter plate on it, which uh, Jasper is kind of near. So this is the adapter plate. And it was like, I think it was four by 100 or something like that. Uh, four by 110, sorry. And the PCD of a Datsun, and for these epic Volks mesh wheels, are four by 114.3 mil. Yeah, they are. So, without the massive, like, what, two inch spacer and adapter, I was never gonna be able to run these wheels, which is what I really wanted to do, because these need to be refurbished because they're not holding air. Well, one of them isn't anyway. So, my mission to upgrade the rear end, the brakes, realized I couldn't do that because I don't know what a rear end it is because this makes no sense to me. I've got no idea what's going on here in terms of the distance. I don't understand. You, I can't buy a, a 
caliper kit for it. I can't do anything, basically. It also then turned into trying to get the axles out, which ended up uh, giving me loads of blisters and then um, jarring my arm, uh, which wasn't good either. So now where we're at is the axles. I told you this was a, a unique Datsun, <laughs> not like anything you've seen in the States, guys. Solid rear axle with leaf springs on a 510 sedan. So now where we're at is I've, this has been like weeks in the works. I haven't picked up this camera for a while. The axles are now over at an engineering shop, getting the PCD redrilled, thank God. And when they arrive back, I'll put it all back together. I will film that now I've explained it. And I've got to figure out, because I didn't take any photos of this, how to put the uh, drum brakes back together. So that's going to be fun. Not. Got all the parts for it, just don't know how to do it. Uh, and then I've got to try and figure out which part of that I can attach something to to actually give myself a handbrake because I don't have a handbrake. That was why I wanted to redo the rear end basically, get um, uh, upgrade disc brakes and then add a, an additional handbrake to it. But I can't do that now. So I don't really know what I'm doing. So if anyone's, anyone's got any suggestions, please do let me know. But what we're gonna do now is uh, install the ooh, Mad Dat front coilovers, which are really, really nice. Really, really, really nice, actually. So here they are. As you can see, really, really nice. They're made, uh, sometimes they're done on, on, on an exchange basis. But these, um, I just had, it's, well, just, just made to order, not on an exchange basis. You see the camber plate. Now, obviously, these have to be flipped. Normally, they'd be, well, that would be facing the rear. This is going to be facing the front. So it shouldn't affect it too much. There should be more than enough on the camber plate to work. Uh, it should be all fine, basically. So we're going to reinstall these and also check the ball joints because there's still an issue with the steering. Or well, there was anyway. We've got to check the ball joint and the diameter uh, of the thread because the 68 is different to the other cars. And, God, this is a mission today. And, again, loads going on. We've also got, to hopefully fix some of the steering, we've got bump steer spacers. So we're gonna install them as well. But I have managed to find, this will be done over the winter. I'm not doing this summer because I wanna drive the car. But I've managed to find parts to rebuild the steering box, which I'm gonna do first, because I'd like to keep it all original, rather than going the route of uh, installing a rack and pinion, which would be really expensive. I don't really wanna do that, because it means I won't have a car. So over the winter, it's a couple hundred pounds, I will, try to, Jasper's running about there, love and life. I will try to install, rebuild the steering box. Lots of rambling, I'm sorry, but is what it is, I can't do much about that. Lots to cover. Um, first things first, let's install the Mad Dat coilovers. So, out the top, I'm gonna to get these tricky bolts out the bottom, which is not fun at all, actually. This is gonna be, yeah, a bit of a pain, I think.
I mean, it's not horrendous, the bushing. I don't know. It doesn't feel that bad. It's not like... I don't know whether you'd consider that tons of play or not. It's quite stiff, really. I just think it's the steering box is crap. So anyway, I think we'll leave that. Um, what we're going to do now, <sighs> so I've got to put the, ah, have I cut myself, what? Oh, whatever, anyway, so we'll do the other side, uh, get the bumps, the space around as well, um, and then I'll come back as I start to fit it all up. So, these are the roll centre adjusters, or bump steer spacers, pretty certain, anyway, sorry about the noise in the background, Pretty certain it goes that way. I mean, it can't really go that way, can it? So, nice billet aluminum. We've got a dog there. Comes with really nice hardware with the uh, locking washer. So what we'll do, we're just gonna get one of these. <sighs> this side. Uh, yeah, this will be this side. And size it up with the old one. that'll be we need this to be at the front so we'll size it up with this one to see where it sits yeah oh already a bit lower actually you see that yeah so was that already was that like an inch and a half lower we might keep that and just size it up with the other one just to make sure they're the same you've got locking collars and stuff I just want to make sure that they are the same and if they are, we'll just keep them as they are. Uh, yeah, yeah, the same. I they don't reckon they're stock. They can't be stock. Someone said that they're 280Z ones, but I don't think that they are because the hubs didn't look to be 280Z. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll install this on this side with a bump steer spacer. Um, yeah, and hope for the best. problem the spacing doesn't seem quite right for these don't really understand why it should be it's not not understanding what's going on here this bloody car man and I don't want to wreck anything in the engine bay because this was taken back to bare metal and completely resprayed with a really nice clear coat on it as well as far as I can tell it's got clear coat on it so I don't really want to damage it <sighs> let's um let's keep going let's see what we can do here I think some mild shuffling backwards and forwards will get that in without any damage so let's get these in at the bottom first it's gonna be a long one as, as well guys I hope you hope you're liking these long videos because it's what you're going to get on this car. You know why? Because it's the videos I want to make. <laughs> um, until we go around to some car shows, which we will do, promise. Okay, cool, so that's, that's working now, good. I was a bit worried then. And then it wasn't going to screw in. Because once it's in there, I'll wiggle it around at the top and hopefully get it in there. Um, which I think. Oh, God damn. 
This is really, this is not doing it. Let me go get my uh, tool. What tool? <sighs> this fucking tool. <laughs> Anyone know what movie is that from? Oh, that is not right now. They changed the sizes. That's not right either. Oh my God. What have we got? We've got like a 20. No. Really? Oh, oh it's like a 19. Change the size of the... All right, we'll get a 19 then. No. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, it's, it's not a 19. No, it is a 19. Yeah, and you get uh, who, uh, who knows what. You bring your tool. What tool? This fucking tool. You never know where that's from? Let me know. Get a movie trivia for you. Update on the Pulsar. No major updates. Um, it's funny how many people have unsubscribed. It goes to show lots of people were following this channel because of the Pulsar, which I get, you know, if that's your jam. Um, you know, not having the Pulsar is a bit of an issue, isn't it? Which I, I understand. No hard feelings. Not, not that anyone that's left is watching because you've left. But uh, anyway, just uh, thought I would let everyone know that that happened. Lots of people unsubscribed since uh, starting this. This isn't really a project. This was not supposed to be a project, by the way, just as an FYI. I just wanted to buy this and drive it around, but it's become a bloody project, which is not, I really actually didn't want that at all. Like I really, really didn't want that. I'm really, re I am quite annoyed that it's become this bloody project because that's the last thing I wanted. But never mind, beautiful day for it. And then in winter, I'll hopefully rebuild the steering box. Steering box is, managed to find all the kit for it. So that's really good, really hard to find. But if anyone knows anything about steering boxes, should I do the worm, worm gears or not? Because apparently they never really go. So thoughts on a postcard, everyone. Now, I don't think, anyway, this will be a time lapse now. I got it through, lifted a little bit of that though, which is not ideal, but I'm assuming this will just sort of crush it back down. I didn't really want to do that, uh, but it was just ever so slightly off. Don't really understand it. I had to use the jack. So, but these are nice. Kudos to you, Mad Dat. Well done. Not that you need my approval. I'm just some fucking loser on the internet. But still, how cool are they? Camber plates. Oh, there's a, a thing there. Now with grease all over my shoe. That's really cool. That's just what I wanted. Uh, yeah, I really like these. That's nice. That's really, really good. So that should, it, the bump steer spacer should help a lot. It should actually help a lot. Hopefully. So anyway, we'll just get this lowered down now. Just so we can, I mean, good, good times. Yeah, that's just what you want as well. Anyway, so do this up, do the other side, and then uh, start doing that rear end stuff. So that's all installed. Put the cap lid on it. So it's kind of hidden. Don't know whether I'll keep them or not. I don't really know the purpose of keeping them in fairness. I'd assume damp, maybe. I don't really know. But anyway, pretty happy with how that's turned out. I don't know how how much sort of lower that's gonna sit. I mean, it, it 
looks much lower in fairness so we will probably have to adjust it obviously because the rear end's not lowered um, but we'll see how low this sits with the new wheels and just how it all sort of comes together and how it looks in the long run one thing i didn't tell you that i installed was new lenses all round really happy with them as you can see looks really nice really smart um so yeah really happy with them car needs a clean uh but anyway now we will probably do this first i think fuel filler neck and then we'll once this is open we'll clean it up and put the uh, gasket maker adhesive thing on it as well but yeah that is a job well done hoping the bumps there spaces sort of help a little bit but failing that we're gonna have to rebuild that little fucker yeah which isn't good um also looking at it just as an fyi it does look like i'm missing some bolts on my uh engine mounts which if i but it's on both sides so it looks deliberate it's really weird if you can see that down in there how bizarre but one weird thing with this engine on a hole this car on a hole is that it's spaced away from the frame which is really weird anyway so if you can see it this is a spacer to keep the subframe spaced away from the frame it's so bizarre but i think i think i figured out why anyway and i think it's for the transmission so they didn't have to batter the um transmission tunnel but i could be wrong but obviously the 63a five speed transmission isn't for this car even though it's in it it's not for it but uh, i digress you don't need to hear this rambly crap um let's do the fuel filler and you'll like this bit of kit this looks really really smart got my little helper today so as you can see pretty basic piece here with some bolts this is actually a bad sign these bolts i don't know if mine's actually going to fit now looking at this so that's really annoying that's worrying um but as you can see this this sort of explains why there's an issue because it's literally horizontal now this is the new piece of kit and you can probably see why i think there's going to be an issue because of those bolts uh so really smart really nice you know tight 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 screw top it's all yeah really smart piece of kit but i am a bit worried now <sighs> with those bolts uh, 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 uh. <sighs> dear oh dear let's have a look let's see what we can do comes with everything so we've got all of the kit fuel filler hose everything um there's the old gasket in there for around here and then i've got all the screws as well let's um take some of this apart and see what we can do i guess oh oh, oh. you can see presumably where they've tried to sort of snake it down I'm gonna replace it uh, with this bad boy so uh, let's take this off then and then uh, right, I'm gonna come back to you when I'm a bit more ready well this is a huge fail actually um, I'm not really sure what's going on because this is in its stock location right the fuel tank is in its stock location you know it's got a stock housing and stuff like it's that's what it's supposed to be you know like that's good old stocky boy uh and this is just the fucking wrong completely 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 the wrong angle um i'm actually really really annoyed not you know it's, it's not it's not a small annoyance like i'm really quite pissed off by this uh yeah 
I'm I'm really really pissed. I I don't know what else to do now. I'm just gonna have to put the stock one back on, which is really annoying. Really 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 annoying. Because <laughs> I wanted this and I've paid money for it to come from Australia. <sighs> Who'd have thought that the Australian version of the car would have a lower down? It's just such a weird thing to have different. Why would you have it different in one country and not the other? Isn't that odd? Do you think? I think that's weird. Doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that? <sighs> yeah, I'm I'm pretty pissed actually by this. Because I was really looking forward to having that problem fixed. And I cancelled. Because I had another one of these on order. Which is just the uh, fuel cap. And I had a new seal on it and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, I'll cancel that because I won't need to. Because I've, you know, I've ordered this whole kit. And uh, now nah, it doesn't work. That's really pissed me off. <sighs> really, really, really pissed me off. But maybe, I don't know, maybe that's why they've batted this around. But I can't see why. Because that's not... Yeah, I don't know. I'm really confused. Really, really, really confused. So much crap down there as well. That's not very nice. Um, poop face. I'm really, really annoyed by this. God damn it. Uh, right, okay, whatever. Let's uh, let's put it all back together and do this gasket. Clean up this and uh, we'll get one, we'll, we'll get two wins out of three. How about that? That's something, isn't it? So we'll do that at the very least. Yeah. <laughs> Rubbish. I've emailed them, but I don't think I'm gonna get any luck out of, because it's no, it's no one's fault. I guess, it's just no one knew. So I, I think I've, I'm just out of pocket now, which is really annoying, but never mind. Let's, uh, let's, put, let's put it back together and just do the gasket. I'm not gonna show you me putting it back together. Let's just do the gasket and I'll show you how to figure the, uh, the trunk, where they're stripping out. <sighs> Bum holes. All right, well, that's all done. That took way longer than it should have done. Now I'm just gonna clean all this up with one of those candy wheels. So let me go show you what that is. For those that don't know, it's just a piece of kit. Should have one, I did have one anyway. It's, um, here we go. It's basically a rubber, essentially, a piece of rubber. And you put it into a drill bit and you can just get like adhesive off, essentially. So we're gonna put the drill on and go easy on it, not hard, because it can strip paint. I don't know how strong the paint is on this car. We're gonna get most of the adhesive off and then we'll put the new gasket on. So I did all this really, really quick. I accidentally burnt through a little bit of the paint there, not down to bare metal, so that's okay. Again, not ideal, didn't wanna do it, but it is what it is. Put this on for the most part. It has a 24 hour cure time. So I put it on until it was tacky and then I've, I've laid the weather seal down. As you can see, it, I've lifted it back up now just to double check that it is sitting where I want it to sit because what I'm gonna do now is squeeze a little bit more up and in there. So like up and under in there. Uh, and then I'm gonna close it down and literally just leave it and then we'll call that a day on tinkering today because I think that's good. I think it's a good place to stop. But it's just lifted a little bit here. You see, literally light coming through. So I just need to put a little bit more down, squeeze it up in here, bond it down, and then use the boot lid closing it down to uh, seal it up completely. So yeah, let's uh, pop you down here. But good stuff this, this is the what is it? Super, black super weather strip and gasket adhesive. Inventive name, good good job. Uh, guys over at uh, 3M. So, oh, we'll just take some of this stuff out that I need before we close it down, because we're gonna close it down for good for 24 hours. And then that should be good actually. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with how, look, you know, take the good with the bad. This whole fuel filler thing is crap, but you know, you, you live and learn on 
certain bits and pieces. I can't, I can't win them all. So just squeezing this up in here. I'm going to leave that there. Now it's got to dry a bit to, to get tacky, uh, and a little bit more down in here. So I'm just going along basically, wherever I feel it's lifted a little bit. Oh, it is really warm today. <sighs> lovely day. Lovely, lovely, lovely day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, it's not over yet, but pretty much is. Um, but for the most part, pretty successful. Just a bit of a balls up with the fuel filler neck, which, you know, who's gonna know that, eh? That's just one of those things with the markets, I guess. Um, but one thing I will say is the the guy who I bought this off, there's still a story to come about that, by the way, because it is quite funny. The, um, the guy I bought this car off, the importer, I had it imported for me. I am um, I'm asking him to look out for another five speed and some just spare bits and pieces. So we'll see what happens. But uh hopefully it all goes well. And we'll yeah, I've got an update on the pickup truck coming soon as well, by the way. Just for anyone that's wondering where that car is. It's coming soon, promise. I'm just squeezing this all the way along. Because there's been a little bit of water coming in, in the boot, and I just want to avoid that. That's why I've got this new weather strip. This is what I mean, it's not a project, it's just ironing out little bits. It's, uh, yeah, not a project. I'm uh, determined to keep it that way. Even though it's kind of becoming one. But it's not, I promise. It's not a project car. We'll be on the road soon. With new coilovers and everything. I'm burning, I can feel it. <laughs> this is really not nice. I'm burning quite a lot actually. Uh, but it's good, because it means that this will actually set. So, squeeze that down into there. Oh, more along here. Just want it to seal, basically, as much as, oh, yeah, as much as possible. It's a Barry Lewis reference, if you watch Barry Lewis on YouTube. Anyway, don't think I've got much more to do here. It's done pretty well. Oh, a little bit more along here, actually. Just where it's lifted. It's quite difficult to do. You're supposed to do it both sides, but it's drying super quick, so you can't really do both sides until it's tacky. That's what you're supposed to do. Do both sides, tacky, and then pin it down. It's like, you can't do that. So, whatever. Anyway. I think that will about call it there, I think. Right. Cool. Let's um. Oh, let's get you out. Put you down there so you can have a good old look. look at me closing this. Oh, you want to see that? Still. Right, that about wraps it up, I think. So, next video, hopefully, next video, hopefully, um, I don't know what I'm doing in the next video now. Axles, it'll be the axles and the brake hubs. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Follow along for more, because 
the project that wasn't going to be a project, maybe now a project, but isn't. Promise, it's not a project. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Take care.